Right, we've got the gas shut off, we've got the coupling off. <clears throat> With the coupling off and the gas turned off, we start the engine until it runs out of its own accord. Shouldn't take long. go so shut the ignition off and then to make sure there's no pressure left in the pipe the nipple at the end will push that in on the corner of the tank there we go that's all the pressure gone now outside the pipe so now we've done that we can start on the gas valve right, so now the gas is ran dry Inside here is first of all the gas filter, so we'll get that whipped out straight away. We might still get a tiny hiss out of it. There you go. There you go. So, and inside the back should be another little seal. There we go, seal. So there's the gas filter itself. It's got a bit of muck on it, not too bad. And then in there we have the solenoid itself. There's your solenoid and in there is the valve. So 10 mil. That slides off. And then 17 mil on the back here. There is a rubber seal behind it again. And then that's out. And then we take the valve out, nice and clean. So if that is dirty, just get yourself some brake cleaner, fill it up inside here, get some blue towel. Give it a good clean out, make sure that's looking like that one is, spotless. And once it is, you can put it back in, just check it. Fire it back on, make sure the rubber seal's all right. Get your 17 again. Doesn't have to be massively over tightened, but it wants to be tight enough. Get your solenoid, put it back on. Get your 10 mil. Again, it doesn't have to be massively over tight, snip it up. Enough so it don't come undone. Will do. Make sure you plug it back in, otherwise it won't work. go and then with your gas filter rubber seal goes in first down in the very back if it doesn't stick when you're trying to put it in you can do is just put a tiny bit of spit on it and that'll help it stick so we're gonna have to get your head round make sure it's seated properly there we go put your gas filter you'll be changing that as well in the kit you will get New spring, new dowel seat to go on the end of it, and a high pressure seal to go on around the cap. So, high pressure seal on first, put it back through the housing, pop your spring in, put your gas filter, make sure that end goes in first, they are slightly different. So, that end goes in sticking out. Then your high pressure seal, it's probably green in the kit that you've got, but same with that. Stick a bit of spit on it, it'll all pick seal up properly. Pop it on. And then just carefully place it back so you don't knock that seal on the inside. 
and tan it up. Just double check that washer there as you go in that seal. There you go. If it twists or pinches or anything, then it'll leak. And then nip it up. Don't over tighten it. Just tight enough. That should do it. And that's it. Then put the gas back on, turn it on, fire the truck up, check it for any leaks. Uh, and then that should be that. That should be good to go again now until next service.